Hello. 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 Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. Okay. If you make it through to the end and you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see how I achieve this look, this right here, then keep on watching. So starting off, I am going to be using my clinic moisturizer. This is not only like one of the best out there, but it is also very affordable. Um, and it does the job honestly most times I use this moisturizer like all day long without my makeup and I my face feels so refreshed after using this moisturizer so it is like one of my faves literally and moving on I am going to be taking my Fenty Beauty primer and I'm going to be applying that all over my face just to like prepare my face for the foundation Fenty Beauty is also like a very good primer to use. Um, I've tried other primers and this one is also like one of the best out there. <laughs> well, I'm going to be updating you guys as soon as I get more products. So for now, let's stick with Fenty. And uh, because of the dark spots on my face, I am taking the Pro Concealer in the color orange. And I'm going to be applying that all over where my dark spots are. And I'm just going to like tap it with my fingers because we're not going to be blending that in. Because we don't want that like really into the skin. I just like need some coverage. And next I'm taking my Juvia's Face Foundation. Oh my god. This foundation is like the bomb. Like that full coverage you guys is like no joke like I really really like it and when I apply my foundation one thing I like to do is work my way from the lower part then work my um, work my way up from the lower part it just makes it like super like easy and, and flawless it makes it less you know stressful for me <laughs> at least for me and yeah I really just blended that in I'm taking the Juvia's Place Concealer. I think that's the shade number 16. Everything I used and the color and the shades will be linked in the description box below. So don't worry, you guys, if I don't get it right. Um, you will definitely find it down in the description box below. Be sure to check it out, okay? So, yeah, I applied that, you know, to the areas where they need to be concealed in my under eye. And you know the rest of the the rest of my face that needs to be concealed. I feel like you already like you guys already know those areas that are meant to be concealed. Okay, so that's literally what I did, and I took my Juvia's Place um, corn. Well, this is a foundation stick, but I just got it in a dark shade, um, and I'm using that for my contour. And I'm just going to be making my nose. Um, a little pointed well I don't think that's gonna happen because my nose is like really flat <laughs> so this is just an attempt to like make it smaller but mm, maybe it's not gonna be like what I expect it to be and to set up my concealer I am going to be using my wet n wild um, setting powder and I'm using my real technique brush I really don't like to bake because it just um, creases um, anytime I use it and I don't really like the, how that you know looks on camera so yeah um, that's pretty much what I'm doing and moving on I'm going to be um, you know setting my entire face with my Estee Lauder pressed powder just to clear out the ash lines so that everything looks good nice and flawless and yeah I just really like that shade from Anastasia I don't really remember what the name was but I'll leave it down below and I'm just going to be using that as my 
um, <laughs> bronzer. I don't know where I decided to use that one. Um, it doesn't really have a shine to it, so I just wanted a really dark shade, and that was why I picked that one up. And the next thing we're doing is the blush, of course. We have to put the blush, and I used the blush from a dollar store. It was only a dollar. And I just apply that onto my face. And now we're doing the brows. This is not my favorite thing to do, you guys. It just takes so much time. But I'm surprised it didn't take as much time because I really didn't sweat this one this time. And I'm, <laughs> I'm really liking it. It looks really nice. I didn't really waste time on my brows today. This is usually not what I do. And then for my lead, I'm going to be using my Juvia's Please palette. And I'm using that really light color shade. And applying that onto my crease. So that's what we're doing. And we're doing that for the other eye as well. And I really, really like how that looks. That new, that palette is actually new. And um, I'm surprised, you know? Really nice. Really pigmented, matches my skin, matches my blush, and I'm taking that shiny color one and applying that. Ooh, <laughs> I was shook, you guys. Can you see how beautiful that color is? I was surprised. I had to take some more, you guys. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I was starting to get excited. I just couldn't help but admire the look. Mm, I'm really liking it. And I'm not going anywhere. This is just uh, this is just for fun. <laughs> so I'm just taking those two colors and I'm smoking out my under eye. Make sure you know everything is nice and smooth. You don't wanna you know be looking all crazy. And I did my liner and lashes off camera because hmm. Um, that takes way too much time and I didn't want you guys to to like go through that with me, you know <laughs> And I'm lining my lips with my wet and wild um, lip liner Before applying my lipstick I don't have the best lips, but I really like my lips And then I'm using my LA color um, lipstick I will leave the color in the description box I don't remember what it was so I really didn't like the way that I was looking I just went in with my wet and wild nude lipstick and I applied that to the top just to make it look a little bit lighter yeah pressing the lashes because it wasn't looking right applying my blush I just um, not blush before applying my highlighter I just went ahead and I um, applied the I set my entire face with the max studio fix primer and that just seals everything in and makes my makeup last much longer and I won't forget to do some bottom lash even if I don't have any I mean I tried so many times but I don't really think I see any difference if you guys can see any difference, please let me know because maybe I'm tweaking right now. Um, so there's barely anything on it. <laughs> Some people are just so naturally blessed and I still thank God. At least I have something to work with. So yeah, no matter how much I try, it just doesn't look any different. <laughs> okay, so it looks like I still wasn't satisfied. But then um, I just went in with a Juvia's Place Warrior palette and I like a shade there that stands out to me. Um, I just used that for my highlighter and it just gives me that glow. Nice. I really like the way that looks on my face. It just makes my face look so better. Like it goes from zero to 100, like just like that. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright. So I just applied, you know, that eyeliner to my nose and, you know, everywhere that 
we need to apply you to. Y'all know what you know, you know the drill. So I'm just not gonna start to teach right now. I feel like most of you guys watching this video already know like probably already watched like thousands of videos and I really do appreciate you for staying to the end. I really appreciate it. Like it means so much to me that some people are still watching me right now. Um, I feel like I sound boring. But anyways, I am so proud of myself, you guys. I am really so proud of myself. I'm just making sure I get the maximum amount of glow that I need, even though I am not going anywhere. Yeah, a round of applause for me. Yay. Oh, okay. 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 So I'm just taking my time admiring myself. Mmm. You look pretty. That's okay. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time, my loves. And be safe out there, okay? Bye.